for once it's a nice day blue skies not usually get that in Scotland here anyway yeah I'm Chris with a K I'm the one who has this YouTube channel and I'm from Scotland nowhere else can you get such a diverse landscape you've got the urban and straight into country and what I'm doing today is out with the dog Oh, I can't see anything. So you, those of you that have been to Scotland, do you get weather like this? Or sun, hardly any clouds, no rain. It's even quite rare for a Scotsman to see that. Unless, travels abroad. one that likes to call themselves a traveller, not just internationally, pheasant, domestically as well. God, that gave me a fright. This here is Ayrshire in Scotland and what I like to do is I like to travel around my own country as well and experience it, see it. Like, there's a lot of people that don't appreciate their own country and I just want to go out and see it and see all this beautiful nature and before it's taken by well there's new houses over there so if there's new houses over there then there's a chance of seeing them building more and more houses because the population is growing and now that the economy's getting back on track the housing economy is going to be interesting the economy's not my area of expertise it's boring Anyway, as you can see, the dog's smelling a lot of the nature in this area. You've seen a couple of pheasants there. One that scared me as well. Uh, up here I've had experience encounters with deers. Deer, even. English. It's a language, isn't it? Language is an interesting thing. How communication, sorry a little tangent, but yeah, communication with different words that can mean the same thing in your language. And then we've got the most complicated one of English with the they are, they are, the different spellings and that. Anyway, yeah, little tangent, us Scotsmen are pretty famous for that. Like over there, you can see the church and fields up this way you can see trees wasteland or grass marsh everything more trees bird feeders fences I've lost my dog oh found my dog Aye. and this is what you call a bridge here in Scotland something that you'd find in one of these dodgy adventure films where you go backpacking and then the bridge gets destroyed or something ah oh. yeah this doesn't look very safe ah you can jump on it safe enough if it falls down when I'm way over here though I'm just gonna have to use the worst bridge there's another bridge further along but it's a bit or if it's worse than that, it's like... God, really? Anyway... Hooch, you don't want to drink that, come on. Anyway, yeah, that's my dog. My dog's called Hooch. Like I said, I'm Chris. Spelled with a K. Everybody asks me why is it not spelled with a C. Don't ask me. Ask my mother or my father. Because how am I meant to know? All I know is it's Scandinavian. What way are we going, Hutch? Ah, there's another one of these famous bridges. So yeah, it's just got really, really warm so suddenly. And 
when it's warm in Scotland, you always take your top off. Set it high. Don't feel like taking my t-shirt off today. You can see me becoming as red as a lobster. You know what's not very good about this country is when it does get really warm and you've got people taking their t tops off and no sunny cream on or anything and they're walking about the streets as red as ketchup and still, still going about it normally. Not, not reacting to the burdens that they've got. Oh well. So, while we're out here we might, might come across Bambi. Maybe even Bambi's mum. That seems a little... <laughs> seems a little sad saying that. Okay, not, not Bambi's mum, I'm just, I'm just gonna say... Grown up Bambi, grown up Bambi, we'll keep it to that. So this is the countryside of Scotland for you. Exciting. It's quiet, it's peaceful. It's always good to travel on your own because you get to have time to yourself. You get to think. You get to explore who you are as a person. It's good that. It's different. And it's bloody warm. <laughs> so this is what happens when you go off the track in Scotland is you end up in the middle of places like this. Not complaining though, because we might come across Bambi, like I said. But what you need to do is here, you need to watch where you step. These grow where the land is really damp, which means if you're standing in the wrong bit, then it's maybe goodbye to your welly, goodbye to your walking boots, or really, really uncomfortable feet with really, really wet socks. Though, anyway, back to Bambi. We probably won't come across him because we tend to be very loud when we're walking, which tends to put animals off coming out unless they are avoiding prey. Like so. And if they assume we're prey, we might see them, but I'm not going to act like a predator coming after a deer. No, they may think my dog is looking for prey, so we might have a chance. But that's very highly unlikely right now. And there's over there. That direction. And over there. So there we go. Full area of nothingness. Which is good, it gives you peace and quiet and it's tranquility, if you like. It's aesthetically pleasing. It is. And it's very peaceful. So I couldn't find Bambi. Oh well. Maybe there's a better chance next to it. If I ever come across Bambi though, I will, I will get a shot. Camera, camera shot. Uh, let's uh, Not killing any animals. Not that kind of guy. So, here. Chilling at the tree. Just out the sun a wee bit. Relax if you like. Let the dog run about. Attack the sticks that he finds. Like, uh. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and there'll be more videos coming soon. Make sure to watch my Croatia video, which is on my channel, and I'll continue to keep uploading. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.